Well, hello there, Guy here. I realize a lot of us like to decorate our home state, but not many people has decided to make a tour, showcase, or whatever to the public. I figured this is probably a good time to do that because, frankly, I get a kick whenever someone admires a project of mine and be like, Whoa, that's wonderful! Even if in reality they would likely have responded with, What the fuck is this? Nevertheless, I'll take the gamble and show you around my homestead. Well, technically a homestead. You see, my idea is that I had a prompt in my mind where rather than making a house for my characters and then jam all of them into it, I would turn this place into some kind of camping site, with the main building being a public space, if you will. Looking around, you will see all kinds of decorations and equipments left behind by a bunch of campers, who in this case I assume to be one of my many characters that I have parked here. Uh, don't mind these guys, they are just hanging out. Upon entering the main building, you will be greeted with a lot of decorations and dividers. I'm trying my best to not make it look like a smelling space here. Uh, but I found that dividers are good at making your interiors not look so empty. Aside from the obvious fire thingy, we also have a small corner here where people can just sit and do whatever they want without having to be judged whenever someone comes into the building. Venturing deeper and you will come across a kitchen and of course more dividers. All kinds of cooking equipment and storage can be seen on the shelf, but I would like to take your attention to these little guys here. Just like Dark Souls, I got this idea of my characters leaving sticky notes, or in this case, grave markers as a way to communicate with each other behind the scene, as a way to add law into my homestead I guess, as well as in a way explaining their characters without actually having to talk about them. Moving on to the right here, and you will see boxes and baskets. Literally just boxes and baskets. <laughs> There's even a note here that expresses one of my characters' disbelief, which I think simulates people's reaction pretty well whenever I, god forbid, bring someone here. So let's just move on to the opposite side. Jay but work mentioned more boxes because we can never have enough of that. We also have a bedroom and of course more sticky notes expressing someone's thoughts and yeah. Going outside and you will come across one of many camp spots in this area. More boxes and baskets of course, as well as a sticky note expressing one's distrust towards all the guests around here. Interesting, eh? Across the bridge we have another campsite and more fucking boxes. This is also where my medium armor characters stay, with one of them being a chef that cooks for the rest of the guests here. It's also important to know that we have a bunch of fishing nuts here, which makes the whole thing look nice and functional. But did you know that beyond the walls, there are many campsites around, one of which has a pretty large bonfire over here, a bunch of random stuff littered all over, and of course more fucking boxes. We also have another campsite over here, except this seems to be made for a single person, and there's a diary recording the person's point of view towards the other side earlier and how stingy they are. Going back to the main building, there's a stair that you can take and it will lead you to this exhibition dinghy where it's literally just a bunch of everyday objects on display here. Moving to this statue however, and there's a law bomb describing the founding of this so-called campsite. There's also a private room here with a sticky note of course, as well as a library that is Nicely decorated, thanks to the dividers and all that. Last but not least, we have another bedroom here that is quite boring if I'm going to be honest. That being said though, if you come down to this fireplace, you will see a bunch of sticky notes indicating exchanges between uh, roommates being roommates. Yeah, I guess this is where they had fun with, but let's leave it at that.